welcome back to the class children in today's class we are going to start a new chapter in 12th standard bio botany second chapter classical genetics and from this video onwards we are going to continue this class classical genetics let us enter into the chapter first of all what is genetics genetics is the branch of biology that deals with the mechanism of transmission of characters from parents to offspring so there are different branches of biology you know biology itself means the study about the living organisms and speaking about the branches of biology there are different aspects of biology biochemistry biotechnology like that it goes on one such branch of biology is genetics which deals uh, with the concept of genes the transmission of characters from parents to offspring and also it deals with the concept of variation the study about all these three things that is genes about the transmission of characters and about the variation and the study about these three things together called as genetics but speaking in general we used to call genetics is the science of heredity and this is the very precise definition for genetics genetics is the science of heredity heredity means transmission of characters from parents to offspring or from one generation to another generation is what we call it as heredity and the study about this heredity is what we call it as genetics and that is how the genetics is defined genetics is the branch of biology that deals with the mechanism of transmission of characters from parents to offsprings and the term genetics was first used by the scientist or the biologist called as william bateson so he is a very famous british biologist and moreover he is a person who follows or who popularized the work of mendel you know mendel is the father of genetics and he was he was the first person uh, to introduce the concept of uh, factors and the characters are transmitted from one generation to another generation all those things are and mendel's work was not recognized at his time and uh, later in 1900s three scientists karl korens hugo de veris and shay mark and uh, they rediscovered the mendel's work likewise he william bateson is an another scientist who popularized and who propagated the work of mendel he is a follower of mendel and he is the person who used the term genetics in the year 1906 this genetics has four major sub classes the first type is what we call it as classical genetics and another second type is called as molecular genetics the third one population genetics and the final one quantitative genetics all these four are called as a, the major sub disciplines of genetics the first one is called as classical genetics and this is also called as mendelian genetics and this discipline carries all the information that was explained by mendel whatever the experiment performed by mendel and whatever the result he got what are all the conclusions he made all those things uh, comes under the concept of classical genetics or mendelian genetics it just deals with the transmission of genes from parents to offsprings it deals only with the concept of mendel so that is what we call it as classical genetics the second type is molecular genetics in molecular genetics it is an advanced form or contemporary form in molecular genetics the chromosomal structure the gene structure and the functions of the gene are studied in detail in molecular genetics 
the functional mechanism of the genes are studied operon concept all those things are studied under the molecular genetics the third type is population genetics here the genetics is studied on population basis on a large group right how the characters differ or how the characters are maintained in a large group of individuals and moreover how the genes are transmitted it speaks about the gene flow or genetic drift right hard they been big equilibrium all those things comes under the concept of population genetics and the last sub discipline is quantitative genetics here it purely speaks about the uh, individual it purely speaks about the uh, transmission of characters in large population but at the same time the character uh, determination is done by many genes that is what it is given it deals with the heredity of traits in the group of individuals where the traits are de determined by many genes whereas in population genetics it is determined by few genes and in a small population whereas in quantitative genetics it it deals with the characters which are determined by many genes and also by the environmental factors the best example is skin color if you speak about the skin color we involve all the different skin colors from all over the world and how the skin color is distributed all throughout the world so here a very huge population is considered and the quantity is considered that is why it is called as quantitative genetics these are the four sub disciplines of genetics classical genetics molecular genetics population genetics and quantitative genetics while speaking about the genetics without variation we can't uh, move further because genetics at one point it speaks with the heredity and the other aspect of genetics is variation because heredity and variation together is studied under the concept of genetics what is variation variation refers to the differences or discriminations in the characters of organisms belonging to the either same species or different species if you look at this image there are different age group of children and moreover we can able to see the skin color of those children are not alike each one is having a unique color right so they are all human beings but there is a major discrimination in their skin color so how does this differences occur and that study is what we call it as variation variation refers to the differences in the characteristics of organisms belonging to either same species or among the different species right and speaking about the types of variation there are two types of variation one is discontinuous variation another one is continuous variation discontinuous variation as the name indicates here the individuals show only the extreme phenotypes there is no continuity between one character uh, trait and the another character trait right for example if you take the sex of the human being there is male and there is female there are two distinct types and uh, moreover there are uh, intermediate forms uh, right transgenders are there but the but it is a ma minor quantity so it should be eliminated it should not be it should be it should not get considered so there is a male and there is a female right extremes are there right so here discontinuous variation it is controlled purely by genes and there is no influence of external characters uh, because external characters or a, any environmental factors have no role in the discontinuous variation and moreover the individuals will show limited variation without any intermediate form right either it may be a total positive or it may be a total negative there is no neutral form right that is what we call it as no intermediate form 
and there is no overlapping only if the overlapping of phenotypes occur there occurs the intermediate form so in always in discontinuous variation there is no overlapping of phenotypes only the extreme phenotypes are noticed you might be knowing the meaning for the term phenotypes phenotypes are the uh, external characters what we look is what we call it as phenotype and discontinuous variation is also called as qualitative inheritance on the other hand we call it as continuous variation continuous variation is controlled by many genes mostly polygenic and environment plays a uh, vital role in this continuous variation both genes as well as environmental factors as a direct role or a direct impact on the continuous variation and uh, there is a high degree of variation can be noticed more number of intermediate forms can be noticed the best example is skin color among the human beings right so the skin color is one of the best example for continuous variation and the sex of the individuals among the human beings is considered as the best example for discontinuous variation and for examples for discontinuous variation we are so so here in the image it has been given the attached ear lobe and detached ear lobes and also the apo blood group system all those things comes under the examples for discontinuous whereas the color of the human being comes under the continuous variation as an example and in continuous variation there will be a overlapping of phenotypes and there will be a slow gradation right if you look at the image so this is a fair skinned person and slowly the complexity of the tone skin tone getting increased and this person is a dark skinned person right so this is one extreme and this is one extreme and many number of intermediate forms can be noticed and this is what we call it as continuous variation there is a continuity between the two extremes that is what continuous variation right it is also called as quantitative variation so these are the two different types of variation one is discontinuous another one is continuous in discontinuous few genes control the character and purely controlled by the genes no external influence whereas in discontinuous variation it is controlled both by genes as well as by the environment and moreover there is a high degree of variation as children in today's concept we have discussed about uh, the definition for the term genetics and also about the variation and its types these are the few questions which can be asked from this concept and who coined the term genetics uh, mr william bateson and this has, this can be asked as a one mark question and give a detailed account on continuous and discontinuous variation this question can be asked as a either three mark or even in the two mark question they may ask hope this session will be a useful one let us meet in the next episode thank you